Hello everyone, this is Vanu Pratap Sharma from Office of Design and Development. I am going to introduce you to the sanitation board game that we have developed with the support of NIUA for their FSSM training programs. The intended purpose of this board game is to introduce hands-on approach to FSSM capacity building where participants play and learn. Gamification is a fast emerging and an effective technique to engage participants when there is less time to disseminate knowledge. In recent times, it has been observed that the attention span of participants has been decreasing due to overdose of reading material, lengthy technical presentations, and less interactive sessions during training programs. This game acts as a tool for immersive learning, encouraging participations, and helping the participant to develop insights about the existing and proposed sanitation system appropriate for the given area. Now let's unbox the sanitation board game. The box is designed to fit in a cabin baggage for travel convenience in case one is traveling around with this box. Now like any other board game, the sanitation board game include a game board, pieces for play, a poster and a manual. Let's take the poster, open it and lay it flat on the table. As you can see, the poster consists of a map of a city, its demographic data and water consumption and wastewater generation data. We shall place the board game on the poster in alignment to the circle. There are marks that would help you to align the board game on the circle. Considering prior FSSM program, the board game is circular in shape so as to encourage more than four participants sitting on a round table to actively engage in the exercise. The pieces of the board game are placed in the tray given below in the box. We now start the game by building up the city. This is important as it will help the participants to orient themselves with the urban peculiarities of a coastal city. One by one, let us add various components of the city. Next, we add various fabric clusters having specific character and a callout name and place them in the respective positions given on the board. We add water tanks for each of the clusters, a water treatment plant and a sewage treatment plant. Thereafter, participants add data sticks for the wastewater consumption and wastewater generation in the city. This will help them visualize the volume of water and sanitation in totality. Participants perform calculations based on the data provided for different clusters in the city and select the most appropriate sanitation system. There are six typologies as per the fabric clusters, namely a cluster settlement, B, plotted residential settlement consisting of tents, traditional housing in the city, C, slums, D, housing colonies, E, railway station, and the last one F, institutional and commercial area. For each of the six clusters, data related to existing water and sanitation system is provided for. As per the instructions of the trainer, participants will use the given information to determine the most appropriate sanitation system for various typologies in the city. For demonstration, let us consider the typology of institutional and commercial area within the city, having 40% seaward and 60% non-seaward connections. The wastewater from the seaward connections get fully treated, whereas there is no treatment process for the non-seaward con connections in the cluster. Hence. To address this issue, the participants shall perform calculations as per the poster and propose an appropriate sanitation system. One such solution here is, wastewater from the non seaward area will be going to an oxidation pond. Hence, the recommended system will be a non seaward sanitation system, that is, a decentralized mechanical STP. Similarly, participants determine sanitation systems for remaining part of the city. So this is how the board game becomes a critical tool of immersive learning uh, during the FSSM training programs that are being conducted. Thank you.